welcome to the Grow Along. Today we are sowing snapdragons. Snapdragons are technically a tender perennial. So if we have a very mild winter like we had the previous year, then you might find that your plants come back next spring to bloom again. However, there is no guarantee if we have a hard winter, they probably will get killed off by the frost. The other problem is as the plants age, as they get older and more tired, they are susceptible to getting something called rust and you don't want to keep plants that have got rust. You want to get that out of your garden. Um, and the final thing is that they never bloom quite as well as fresh plants do in their very first season. So that's the reason why I don't tend to keep plants from one year to another. I pull them out and sow myself some fresh ones. And it also gives you a chance to try some new varieties. Basically, it's a fiver for a year of entertainment in your garden. From sowing and growing to flowering and arranging. Now snapdragon seeds are seriously tiny, so do your best to sow one seed per cell. But don't worry too much if you end up dropping them or sowing two or three per cell. They prick out really easily. They're not sensitive to root disturbance. We will wait until they're a bit older and less fragile before attempting to separate any doubles, any twins from your seed trays. I just like to sow one seed per cell if I can. And then I don't really have to go near the trays until next year, because they've got enough room to develop. Oops. You have to be patient with the germination of your snapdragons. Because they're technically a perennial, they're gonna germinate and grow a lot more slowly than your annuals, for example, which is a really good reason why we're sowing them early in September to give them the maximum amount of daylight and warmth and time to turn into little plug plants. Once we get to winter, they will stop growing at all. So please do not sow your seeds. November, December time, they will, if you can get them to germinate at all, you probably can by faking conditions in the house. When you bring them out to the greenhouse, the light levels will be so low that they won't actually be able to develop very much past that. And they're at real risk of getting damp off disease or just rotting in their seed trays. These are my snapdragons. This is the color mix. You've got the exact same one, so it's really exciting. They've grown really, really well. I've just given them a sift of compost because they really need potting on and I haven't got time to do it today. So I've given them a quick sift of compost to keep them snug for a couple more days and then I will pot them on, we'll do it together. Um, but just one question has come through that I thought I would share now. And that is, uh, can you pinch them now? I wouldn't, because if you think about it, they need their leaves for photosynthesis the light at the minute is at rock bottom. So really, you don't want to be removing any foliage that they could use for photosynthesis at this time of the year. So pop them on, yes, we'll do that together. Pinching them, not yet. Because if you've just found me and you're desperate to try the snapdragons, there is going to be another chance. I always sow two batches, an autumn jump start, and then another batch in the spring grow along. So if you've got your seeds and you've not sown them, just hang on to them for now. And don't worry, if you're going to join us in the spring grow along, there'll be all new fresh videos, because I'm going to be doing it as well. Just wanted to show you, look how big they can get just in their 40 cell trays. And we've basically just left them to hang out up until this point. So I'll pot them on and then the next step will be hardening off later on and then planting out. But we'll cover all of that together. Now, hopefully, like me, you're starting to see some active growth returning to the greenhouse. These are my autumn started snapdragons and they are looking really happy now. The light is coming back. Now, we haven't pinched them up until now because... They basically need all the leaves that they can get for photosynthesis at this time of the year because the light is so low. We can pinch them soon now because the light is coming back. Don't worry if yours is not as tall as mine, if they're not as big, it's just because you started them later. If you start them later, the light levels were already on their way down and they didn't have the light to catch up. So now the light levels are returning, they will start to spring into life. Now snapdragons, especially the autumn started ones, will become very tall and the flowers can actually be a bit too big 
for your vases and arrangements. So what we do is we pinch out the tips It's been three days since we pinched the snapdragons and can you see that those side shoots are already starting to wake up. Now we have removed the hormone from the tip. So these are our pinched out snaps, do you remember? Now I just wanted to show you the difference now. So there's the pinched out tip down there and we can see we've got one, two, three, four, flower stems now in place of that one so you don't want to pinch them again because we will deadhead them later and that will be nearly the same so if you pinch them again you will make the first flowers okay and the second flowers unusable so just one pinch next up it's the snapdragons look at those roots and you can see where we earlier pinched them going to be planting them 22 centimetres apart. Please don't worry if yours are not quite ready yet. They are one of the most slow growing seeds that we've sown, but you can see from my plugs that they are desperate to now get in the ground. Goodness me, look at the snapdragons. They've just quietly been growing away, minding their own business. Look at that branching. Absolutely incredible. Could do a bit of sunshine so I can show you properly, but these are the snapdragons. They've made their way through the first layer of mesh. Look at all those stems. It's going to be a vintage year. You know summer's here when the snapdragons arrive. What a glorious multicoloured army. This is the colour mix. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see we've only got one plantish of each so you can see how many stems we've got coming from this ivory snapdragon. And then this is one of the red ones. So you can see all three flowers are coming from the same plant. It's unimaginable to believe that those tiny, tiny seeds create such robust plants. The garden is also looking absolutely incredible. So I thought I'd just very quickly flip the camera round for you. Look at that. Glowing in the evening sunlight. My own little piece of flower heaven. Well, don't forget your label, especially if you're growing more than one variety, because you'll want to know which one is which. And if you've not watched the shopping list video, this is the pen that I use. I don't use a Sharpie because I find it fades in the sunlight. It's not UV safe, but these ones, we get these online and these ones are absolutely brilliant. Don't fade at all in the sunlight. And you can clean your labels with nail varnish remover later and use them again. Perfect. Need for a propagator lid, don't cover the seeds. They need light for germination. So we're not covering the seeds. They need light for germination. No need for propagator lids. The greenhouse is naturally warm and humid at the moment. Once the seed trays dry out and they need watering again, water them from underneath rather than overhead because you run the risk when you water them overhead, you run the risk of dislodging the compost. That could cover the seed, put it in the darkness and then it won't germinate. If you'd like it all written down, if you just turn to your handbook under Snapdragons, all the information is there for you. And in addition, if you turn to the checklist, you've got your snapdragons here and a very quick note about all of the key points, including the flowering times and what seeds not to cover because they need light for germination. So that's now the sweet rocket and the snapdragons under our belt. In the next Grow Along video, we are going to be sowing the nigella. So I will see you then.